What I have here is a model, which I'll open now, is a model that relates four latent variables. One of these latent variables is issue var, or the electronic communication use variety by a team that is involved in uh, new product development. Development new products such as new car engines, uh, new toothbrushes, and so on. Uh, so this latent variable measures the number of different types of electronic communication media used by the team. A uh, team might use uh, email, uh, uh, bulletin board, uh, teleconferencing. Uh, the more of these different uh, communication media used, the higher will be ECU VAR. Project, the, this latent variable, project management, is the team's ability and extent to which uh, it employs project management activities such as keeping track of deadlines, defining deadlines, keeping track of those deadlines, and so on. FE is the efficiency of the team, which is essentially the speed with which the team performed its um, new product development activity and the cost with which the team did that. And effectiveness is the out the quality of the outcome generated by the team. In the case of a new product, that would be the uh, market impact that the product would have. The uh, it would be measured. FE uh, would be measured uh, through a sales of the product, uh, customer perceptions uh, of the product, and so on. So I will save this model and close. And now the software will create a model structure for me. And what I'll do here is I will look at the settings. And here in the settings I have the algorithm selected warp 2 PLS regression. I have several available. Warp 2 PLS regression tries to identify a U-curve relationship between the latent variables and correct the path coefficients uh, accordingly. The resampling method that I have selected here is bootstrapping. And the number of resamples for bootstrapping, I am choosing here the recommended, which is 100. So I'll close out of here. And now I will do, I will perform the analysis. And here I get my results. Now, Let's assume, now close, let's assume that I wanted to run the same model, but now with a different resampling method. Okay, all I have to do is I will save this project, and then I will save the project as, and I will save the project with a similar name, but I will just change the name by adding a J to the name, which indicates that I'm actually conducting the same analysis, but now using warp 2 regression with jack knife knifing as the resampling method. So I'll save, and now the system saved the project for me with a different name. Then what I'll do is I'll go and change the settings to jack knifing. Now jack knifing is a resampling method in which the, the, the number of resamples generated equals the resample, the, I'm sorry, the sample size. So there is no point in choosing the number of resamples for jackknifing because that's set already. It's the original sample size. In this case, it's 290 cases. So uh, there is no point in, in changing this number here. If I change this number, it will have no effect on uh, the analysis at all. So I'm this number here makes sense only in the context of the bootstrapping resampling method. So I will save the settings. In some cases uh, you may want to use jackknifing instead of bootstrapping and in some cases you may want to use both. I will now run the analysis again 
and now the analysis is being run with jackknifing. Notice that the speed is lower now and the reason is because the number of resamples is higher. The number of resamples here is the sample original sample size which is 290. And now I have my results here. Uh, what changes, what could have changed uh, with this change in resampling method used are the p-values here, but the p-values, uh, since the uh, path coefficients are quite high, the p-values are lower than 0.01 uh, for both jackknifing and bootstrapping. Now close, and I will also save this project. So now I have two projects uh, which I can open at any time and change themselves and I can do that by just going to open project file and so I have two projects here they're pretty much identical but one employs bootstrapping this is the one and the other employs jackknifing and I can open each one of them at any time modify them and save it as another project